welcome to my studio. So I am Debbie and today we're going to be painting our third painting of our three-part series of tropical plants. So I hope you'll join me. I decided at the end of each one of my videos I'm going to start sharing some paintings that you guys have done with me because it means so much to me when I hear from you and you send me your pictures of your tutorials that you followed along with, followed along with and I wanted to share those with everybody because I'm so proud. I'm so proud of how these come out. There's some amazing ones. So be sure to watch until the very end. So for this one, I have a bunch of notes for which design I was working on. So I'm working on this one right here. So whenever I'm sketching something out, I actually sketched it already and I forgot to wait <laughs> to do it with you. So I'm just going to sketch over the top of it with a darker pencil so you can see kind of how I laid everything out. So whenever I have a little small design like this, I will divide it. Sometimes I'll draw a whole grid if it's a really detailed design, but if it's really simple like this one, I'll just draw a line right down the middle and then a line right down the middle this way, so the halfway mark and the halfway mark. And then I'll do the same thing on my canvas. So I'll draw. It's okay if it's not perfect. This is not an overly precise design we're doing, so. And it's plants, if they change a little bit, that's okay. If this was like a building or a cityscape, you'd want it to be really exact and precise, but these are plants, so it's okay. All right, so then what I would do is I just kind of look at each square individually or each little rectangle and make sure the shapes are fitting within that section. So like, let's start right here with this long swooping stem right here. So it starts right at the bottom and I just lightly sketch it in. And then what I would do is pay close attention to where this comes right here, this little intersection. Where is that spot? I would look at the negative space and compare. So it's bigger here, the negative space is bigger here. And then this little section is like a little rounded triangle shape. So you just kind of look at that shape and then you know you're on the right track. And then it comes a little bit past this line here. So it would curve around there and swoop down. Don't worry about doing these little little cutouts yet. We're just going to do this main basic shape starting off oh, on this one. So this part where it dips down, it's kind of like a heart shape. These plants are sort of a heart shape. It's a little bit past this halfway mark, a little bit to the right. So you know it's going to come around and then it comes up off the top and then this little section here, you know this is kind of like a little squished triangle shape so you would just kind of sketch in that shape there, come around here and just sort of draw the overall basic shape of this. So these are kind of like a big heart shape like that. So do that shape first before you get all detailed and then this little leaves here sort of touch the middle line. So you got to come down like that. Get the basic shape there. Then let's do the center line, the spine of the plant. is swooping down. It doesn't go off the edge yet. It's like right in from this side. Scooch down there. And then let's do a little wiggle. And now we can add in these little shapes we have here. And up here. Okay, now let's do this one. So we've got, actually let's finish that first. Now if you don't want to sketch directly on your canvas, if that makes you a little bit nervous for messing up, I'm going to attach a little video I just made on how to transfer a drawing. So it just teaches you how to draw it on a separate piece of paper and how to get it onto your canvas. So you have the final drawing all worked out ahead of time and you can just transfer it right onto your canvas. So I'll attach that clip right here. Okay, so then let's do, I'm gonna change this shape a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, 
Let's go. I had a bunch of notes. Yeah, I think I like that one. Okay, let's have this one come in that little heart shape. I want to make sure I don't get too close to this edge here. I'm actually changing it up a little bit from even what I drew before. I'm going to do a, that curved heart shape. Do that spine down the middle, and then this will come around like that. Let's do this one too. So this one will come around like that. Okay, so we'll add in these little shapes here. And you can do yours different than this. You don't have to do it exactly like mine. You just want to make sure when you're designing something that it's always nice to have something going off the edge of your canvas so it's just not one, one leaf in the center. You want to have some overlapping. It just makes it a little more interesting. Okay, so I think that's a good start. I usually sketch out with a darker pencil. I do this for the tutorial purposes, otherwise it doesn't show up very well on the camera, but it's a very soft lead pencil that I'm using for this one. This is a 6B, and the B, I explained this in my last video, but I'll just go over it again real quick. The B, if you have um, artist grade pencils, you're gonna see different numbers on your pencils. So if they have a B on them, that means the blackness of the lead. So that's the higher the number, the darker the lead, the softer the lead, so it comes out darker. It also smears really easily. So it's not really good when you're gonna paint on top of it because it's gonna smear. So I'll usually sketch it out first with a heavier pencil because it is easier to erase this as well because the lead is so soft, it erases really easily. Then what I'll do when I have it all worked out, I'll erase all the parts I don't want. And then when I have the final design that I'm happy with, I will take a harder lead pencil. So if you see that little H on your pencil, that stands for the hardness of the lead, which also means it's more difficult to erase it if you draw really dark, but it's also handy when you go over your design, and I'm not pushing down too, too hard, but hard enough to where it's gonna stand out, and then if you draw it on top of that with your hard pencil, then when you erase it, it'll erase all that soft, smeary lead, and it'll leave behind a very fine line and that's not gonna smear. So you can erase really hard over the top of it and that line will still show through. Which means make sure you do it exactly how you want it because it's really hard to erase. So when you have your line really, when you have your design really set and final, then use your harder lead pencil. Or you can just, it's fine, you don't need to have all these special leads. You can just use a basic number two pencil, it'll do the same thing. But just make sure you erase all the extra lead because it will get very smeary and you don't want that when you start painting. So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with my harder lead pencil, my 2H pencil, and, and then I'm gonna erase over the whole thing. So I'm gonna start with my 5 8 angular brush and I'm gonna do the background first. I think I wanna make this one like a light yellow. I think that would be pretty. So let's just mix up some yellow and some white. I'm gonna do all three of these tropical paintings, different color background. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. So just paint your whole background. Now I'm gonna take a dark green, make a dark green. So I took a scoop of blue and a scoop of yellow. I'm gonna mix that up and see how dark we got. And I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of magenta and that's gonna make it even darker. If you have just the blue and the yellow, it's gonna be a pretty bright green, but by adding in that third primary color, it'll deepen it up a little bit. So let's do this back leaf darker. I'm gonna do a little more yellow in that. It just feels a little too blue. I want it more of a yellow green. Let's 
see. Yeah, that will be good. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off some of this paint because I have so much on my brush. It's hard to paint with it when there's too much paint on your brush. And once you get that base coat on there, you wanna make sure all your brush strokes, you're probably seeing some streaks in your paint. Make sure all your brush strokes are going in the direction that the leaf is going. So you wanna go from the spine of the center of the plant here, and you wanna drag your brush from the spine out to the edges, from the spine out to the edges. So if you do have any streaks in your strokes, <laughs> streaks in your strokes, you want them to go in that direction. And it just kind of adds to the look of the, the plant too, having those veins in there. We're gonna add lots of layers of color, so most of this is gonna get covered up, but it's just always a good idea to make your brush strokes go in the direction of whatever it is that you're painting. And in the case of like a plant, you want it to go in the direction that it grows. Okay, let's do, Let's do this side of the plant with the dark green too. Just that right side. We're gonna go a little darker on this side than on the left side. Okay, now we're gonna mix um, some yellow into some of that mix. I'm gonna make this a lighter shade of green. Do let's do this one up here. Let's do more yellow. More yellow. A little bit lighter. And do the left side of this plant. And let's add a little more yellow and a little bit of white, just a tiny bit. Make it even lighter green. Do this half. Let's take a little more of that dark green and let's do the stems. And mine is mostly dry now. Might have to mix up a little more of that. So this one was just coming in from behind. And we're also gonna go back over the top of this one. And that's coming around that. Right around the curve a little bit, and it should end up right at the base here. This is a little thicker at the base, and it'll get a little skinnier at the top. Then let's take a little bit of that lighter mix, and we're gonna go right down the center of that stem. And right down the center of that one, just adding a little highlight. We're gonna add more highlights later, but this is just the first highlight. Try to get it right down the middle. You might need to let that dry a little bit more first. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding some highlights to all these other parts. So let's take a little bit of, we can take a little bit of white, and mix it into some of that lighter green you made. Just a little bit of white. That might be too much, but we'll see. We're gonna add some, let's add some highlights. I'll do a little more yellow. I'm gonna add some highlights onto these leaves. So that's really bright. I'm gonna water it down a little bit. Add some more of that dark green into it. I don't wanna get quite that light yet. So it's gonna be kinda of halfway between this color and this color. Just do a little mix in the middle there. And we're just gonna add some streaks. Coming from the spine, let's just define the spine a little bit. Let's go right down the center. Ooh, I got a drip. Too much water on my brush. 
Okay, I'm gonna draw a little skinny line right down the center of the spine. Do the same thing here, just to define where that little center mark is. Do the same thing right there. Okay, take a little bit of your light mix and we're just gonna use the tippy part of the brush, the little pointy part, and you're gonna curve and do, do some streaks. Mine's watered down a little bit, so it's not gonna, it'll dry a little bit darker by doing thinned out water layers you can build a lot more and it won't get too bright too fast. Do the same thing on this. Just doing some streaks, going in the curve of the direction of the leaf from the spine out to the edge. Do a bunch of streaks. Same thing here. Now let's add a little white, some yellow. Mix a little bit of that green in there. I'm gonna water this down a little bit. I'm gonna add some streaks. Clean off my brush. No more yellow. Let's add some streaks on the lighter half. Take a few of those lighter ones, and we're gonna add a few streaks on the dark half. Not as many though, just a few. Making the focus on where this arch is, where these things arch, right in the middle, so it creates the feel that the light is hitting that part where it curves. So if you do a little more right in the center, just make sure you're curving it. blend it out a little bit, but you want that main highlight to be right where that arch is. Right down the middle. arches, you're going to want that to be brighter. So I'm curving in the direction of the leaf. Little streaks right down the center. And then this direction, the leaf is curving a little bit. Like here it's arching upwards. Here it's curving a little bit downwards. So we're going to change the direction of the swipes. stands out a little bit more off the dark leaf behind it. Take some pure bright yellow along the edge there. Take some pure yellow. Add some streaks right in there. Right over the top of where we did those other light streaks just to give it another shade of color. And let's get bright right along this um, spine there. Let's go a little brighter now, right down the spine. And then I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet, put some yellow on it. And with the flat part of my brush, I'm gonna kind of flick my brush. I'm pushing down, then I'm flicking downwards. Kind of blend that line out a little bit. So it's not such a harsh outline. And then I'll just streak it out using the pointy part of my brush. Let's 
same thing right here. Draw a yellow line. And the flat part of my brush, kind of spread it out a little bit. Okay, let's take some more of that yellow. And this is just a thin, watered down yellow. Just adding a few little streaks on the dark leaves. I'm just layering on more colors. Let's take a little bit of white with some yellow. And let's use the pointy part of the brush and we're going to do a little highlight right down the whole stem, right down the middle. And we'll drag the brush over just to kind of blend it in and fade it out a little bit. Do the same thing on this one. Make sure you're keeping this stem in front of this one. Get a tiny bit of white and just drag it right down the middle of that leaf there. And take a little more of that dark green mix and keep getting dried out there. I'm not going to add magenta this time, I'm just going to do blue with a bunch of yellow. I'm going to add a few streaks into the light sides of the plant. This time I'm going from the end and curving it towards where those lighter highlights are. Getting around the edge and then flicking my brush and kind of streaking it with the pointy part of the brush towards the middle of the plant. I just want to get a little darker on these edges. We got a little darker on this second layer here. I just took a, I watered down my brush and wiped off all the paint, all the water, so it's just very damp, just barely damp. I'm just kind of spreading out the paint a little bit. So it's more blended. So it's just a clean brush, clean and damp. And it's just kind of softening up those streaks. And I keep flicking water all over the piece. Don't let your brush be that wet. Okay, let's get some yellow. And let's start with just yellow. My brush is a little bit damp, and right from the spine, I'm just going to spread out a little bit of yellow. I'm just using the flat white part of my brush and just kind of flicking it. And because yellow is so transparent, you can see through it, so you can still see some of those other highlights and streaks. I'm just doing a thin coat, just kind of spreading, almost like a glaze of yellow right over the top, just to brighten it up a little. Get my brush a little wet, put some more yellow on it, do the same thing on this side, just kind of spreading.
thin layer of that. Let's do the same thing. Let's see, do I want to do that? Maybe same thing on this side. Just a thin layer of yellow. I'm just dragging it right over the top because this is dry now, so this is just going to create a little bit of a glow. See how it kind of makes those highlights pop. Let's take a little bit of teeny bit of white with a little bit of a uh, bunch of yellow. And I'm just gonna use the tippy part of my brush and drag in that little spine down the middle, right along that center line. Make that stand out a little more. The same thing here, right along this edge. Same color, a little white and a little yellow. I'm going to pump up this highlight right down the center of the stem again. Just a little bit. A little more yellow on that. Take a little bit of white. I still have a little bit of yellow on my brush, so a little bit of tiny bit of yellow mixed in there too. And I just want to add a few more highlights right from this spine curving over on this light leaf. I'm starting with the flat part of my brush and just kind of flicking it in the curve direction of the leaf. And then I'm using the pointy part of my brush just to create a few little skinny. A little bit of pure white, a few little highlights. Don't do too many of these. We can always tone them down if there's too many. Let's go on that edge more. Make that stand out from the dark background there. Let's go right along the edge of the stem, so that stem will stand out more. Go on either side of the stem. We're going to have to darken that stem up too. I don't want to look too stripey, so I'm going to add a bunch of thin layers too. Okay. Turn that brush off. So we're going to make a, a shadow color, so we're going to make kind of a periwinkle. So let's take a little bit of white, if you can get some clean white, I don't want any yellow or green in there. And then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of blue and mix it off to the side to start with. And a little bit of magenta. And mix it in, we need more magenta. We want it more of a purpley blue color. Too bluish gray. 
a kind of a lavender, like a blue lavender shade. And let's just test that out. Okay, that's pretty dark. Let's take a little more white. Some clean white. Put a little more magenta. I feel like we need it just a little more purpley. There we go. That will be better, I think. A little. Let's test that out. Okay, wait, tiny more magenta. <laughs> Whoa, that was a lot. Okay, I think that will be good. And we're gonna put a little more white. A little bit. Okay, so when you get that all mixed up, we're gonna take, after we get that color, we're gonna take a little bit of yellow. And we're gonna mix some yellow into that. So this is basically the background color with a little bit of this periwinkle mixed into it. It's kind of a grayish color, but it's more of a more of a purpley yellow, <laughs> sort of. Okay, then you're gonna take your number eight filbert brush, water it down, and put a little bit of that mix on your brush. And then we're gonna create a shadow on like the underside of each leaf. So you want this very thinned out so it's not too too dark. I'll wipe off more of my paint. So it's just a very thin, thin, thin layer. I'm gonna do the underside and I'm gonna do the right side. So like right here, I'm doing the right side of this. Just doing a thin outline. Do it right up to the edge of the leaf. coming in a little bit from this edge. And I'm gonna do the right side of this. And then one thing I want to do, I noticed this is blending in so much, I'm going to brighten up the edge of this leaf a little bit. So I'm going to take some yellow, a little bit of white, just a tiny bit, and I'm just going to lightly tap on the bottom edge. You can use your number 8 filbert for this, or your, you can use the 5 8 angular if you want to use the tip of it, whichever brush works for you. I'm just going to fade that edge into the leaf a little bit. So do that same technique with streaking and curving. Actually, I'm going to switch back to my 5 8 angular brush. I like this one. It's my favorite. 
Take a little more yellow, a little bit of white, just a tiny bit of white. And I'm gonna, whoa, that was a lot. Water it down a little bit. It won't be so dramatic. Water, a little more water, a little more. Oops. Got a little bit of blue on there, but that's okay. Make a light green. Mm. I'm dry on everything. Okay, so yellow, a little bit of white, take a tiny bit of blue, teeny tiny bit of blue, more yellow. I just want a really light, bright green, but I don't want to be too, too bright. Water it down. Get that edge standing out a little more. And then streak from the edge in towards the rest of the leaf there. Do the same thing over here so they match. There, now that stands out a little bit more. Take a teeny bit of white. I'm just kind of flicking my wrist to create these little edges, these little points, highlights. All right, now my paint's starting to lift, so I'm gonna stop. If your paint's starting to lift, just let it dry and then just do another layer after it dries. Stop. Okay. I think that'll work. So today's artist that I'm featuring is a uh, awesome girl who's done a bunch of paintings with me and she was one of the first ones to send me some of her pictures and I just got so excited to see these and she did a great job. Some of them she tweaked a little bit to make it more her own style which I love. It was awesome. She goes by Jaybird. Her name is Jasmine and I just appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for sharing all of your art with me. Jasmine, I can't wait to see what you do next. If you'd like your art featured in one of my videos, please send me pictures. And even if you don't want it featured, let me know that you don't want me to mention you, and I won't. But I would love to see your artwork. It makes me so happy to see what you've done. So you can email me, or you can Facebook or Instagram message me. I've got all the info in the description box. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Wall. That's not very exciting. Alright, I'll let you get back to it.